Right, we are back. So I saw a video on a different platform by a channel called uh, Transmutation Dice back in June, I think it was, uh, where they used um, Ange An Angelina film, Angel film. I don't know what it's called. It's some kind of crafting film, a bit like cellophane. And when you use a heat gun, it creates these really cool effects. I've seen uh, some other channels doing this. Um, and I really wanted to jump on the on the trend, but I haven't got the film. But what I do have is some leftover vinyl. Now this is the peelable vinyl, just from a cheap set. And I have some clear um, cellophane. So what I plan to try is trying to get the effect with this. I don't think it's gonna work the same. But to make it easier to handle, I think what I'm going to do is cut some cellophane off. I've just got a really cheap roll of cellophane. I'm just gonna cut a section off to adhere the vinyl to, just to make it easier to handle so it's not sticking to everything every time I touch it. I'm just gonna peel off. This is great if you've got off cuts of vinyl, if it works. <laughs> this will be great if you've got off cuts of vinyl. So I'm going to peel that off and stick it to my cellophane, just like that. So what I want is when I apply the heat gun, I want these bubbles texture. I've got some bubbles in there as it is, but I don't, I don't know whether it's going to matter. We're going to find out. So using my heat gun, I don't know what side to do this on. Do I do it from the front or do I do it from the back? Let's just turn it on. I've got it on a low heat. I don't know whether these bubbles are going to interfere. Starting to get a texture. It's not doing what I want it to do. Let's turn it over to see if it does anything different from the back. It's starting to curl up. <laughs> don't curl up. Just be very, very careful. My mat, my craft mat, is a soldering mat. So it can withstand some really high temperatures. But just be careful. It's flattening out again. So I think I'm gonna I'm gonna turn it over and do it from the back. It seems to be doing more from the back than what it is from the front. Don't wanna melt it. Just gonna keep going. I don't want to get too close. <laughs> I keep getting closer with the heat gun. It's not really doing what I want it to do, but I'm going to persevere for a couple of minutes. So it's starting to shrink. I've been turning it every 10 to 15 seconds and then just carefully, because it is hot, flattening it out as much as I can and it's starting to shrink. But I think a lot of that is the glue that's on the back of the vinyl causing that as it's heating. Okay, I don't want to do any more because it's starting to melt. So, what have we got? Oh, we've got some of the tech, some of the effect going on there, which is pretty cool. But it's really good. This this vinyl come in a, a very cheap set on Amazon. Lots of different colours to use. So, what do we do now? I want to make a, a pendant with it. So, I think what I'm going to do is go with the oval shape and maybe one of the heart shapes. So to get the shape, I think what I'm going to do is grab a resin piece that I've already made, say something like this, and then just cut around that. And I need a heart shape as well, maybe this one, and just get the size right for the mold itself. So what I'm gonna do is Carefully hold the cabochon in place and just use my craft knife and just carefully score around just to get a guideline. Not necessarily the whole way through, but just a guideline that I can then see and use scissors to cut that out more precisely. Okay, so there we have the oval. It's actually very, very close to what the actual film does. So I'm, I'm quite happy with those. They might not be perfect in shape, but we can then kind of just size them up, trim off any areas that are kind of sticking over or preventing it from sitting nicely. 
inside the the mold but I'm happy with that as a as an experiment and with the heart yeah I think we can go with with both of those so as always massive shout out to my channel members anyone who's bought me a coffee or a super thanks that is very much appreciated thank you very much so for this I'm gonna speed things up and just use UV resin I think but you could use two part um, and just that I think the trick is the tricky part is gonna be bubbles definitely trapping bubbles underneath but if you was to work on this in say an open back bezel uh, you could do that I suppose cut it to the right size insert it stick it to the, the bezel tape and then pour your resin over the top or if you're using a jewelry mold like this it's very messy excuse it I need to clean it you could you could do that as well and work from the back to the front and then if it works you've got lots of off cuts still on here that we could use for smaller pieces so I'm using the Lex resin clear hard for this any UV resin will work really any viscosity I'm just gonna fill my mold now I've left a tiny bit under the rim just because I want to top it up so I'm just now gonna carefully starting from the top of the heart lower that into the resin which would then cause the bubbles hopefully to be pushed towards this end tip and you just lay that on top and just push down so I pushed it down a little bit further into the UV resin just to force out any excess bubbles and to bring some of that clear resin over the back so I can then hold that and cure that from the top and then we're gonna cure from underneath so I'm just holding my mold at an angle. I'm doing one at a time because if I was to do this with the other one in, it would the resin would pour over. Um, I don't want to flip it because there is obviously uncured resin underneath this. Um, but you can cure this from the underside any way you wish. So these are cured now and they're a little bit gappy around the edges. And if I keep them like that, I think they're just going to be a little bit too visible. So I'm going to mix up some white mica powder, only a small amount, and then just give that a final back coat. So I'm just going to use a diamond white mica powder for this. And hopefully then that will kind of take the eye away from any gaps that we've got. So let's see what we've got. I, I did a small one down here as well just to see what they'd look like. Maybe you could do a twin pair and see what they look like as earrings. We'll start with the small one. As always, give the video a thumbs up, drop me a comment. If you haven't subscribed, hit that button for me. Oh, we've got some tiny little bubbles. Well, no, actually, we've got a really big bubble there. Maybe I forgot to cure that for long enough on the underside. But really cool, opal effect in there. If it wasn't for that bubble, and it, the film is really visible. I pushed the, the, the film quite far into the resin on this one. So we can, we can say that that was... An experiment, it will work if we persevere. But it's a little bit of a fail at the same time. Let's go with a heart. Wow. There you go. That is a really, really nice piece. I can't see any bubbles, which is good. The film's not very visible unless you look at it from the side. From the front, that is absolutely stunning. Catches the light really nicely. I might have to experiment with the different coloured vinyls. Let me grab them. So there's lots of different colours to choose from in this set. You could have some lying around, but these are just um, cheap ones that I bought for my for my cricket. Let's see the the oval. Need to trim some of the edges off. I'm hoping we've got a really good opal effect. Look at that. That is absolutely incredible. Let's pop that in the bezel quick. And again, any sharp edges, I just use my cuticle tool and just carefully run that around any sharp bits. Mine's a bit blunt. So there you have it. Look at that. That is absolutely stunning. <laughs> So not what I wanted, but we've got a really, really nice 
opal effect going on in there. I'm really, really happy with that. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you for the next one. Bye for now.